Hey guys, hey, 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 welcome to Kingdom Influencer. <laughs> welcome guys, I am in a good, good mood. I am happy. I am filled with the joy of the Lord. I'm just happy. I'm really, really happy. Um, I thank God for all that he has done and all that he will continue doing throughout this beautiful day it's night time here for me but lord we just thank you we just thank you we honor you we give you all the praise we give you all the glory we thank you that you'll carry on speaking to us speak to us through visions dreams speak to us through your word i believe that this day was not in vain, definitely not in vain. I believe that you deployed your angels, that your angels were at work for us, and that your spirit was interceding in our behalf, and that you were just there so present with each and everyone, with everyone that joined in this prayer, with everyone that sent in their names, even the people that didn't send their name but that are part of this channel, I thank you for the beautiful work that you have done and that you will continue to do in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, so, guys, yesterday, um, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, as I was taking my communion. So let me give you guys a background story. So um, every time I'm fasting, the Lord has instructed me to take um, communion, right? But then my friend, my, one of my besties, you know, <laughs> I know, I'm always like always talking about either a bestie or a sister in Christ. But um, one of them, we were speaking and she was like, Jessica, um, I know this thing. And she's like... Um, and one of her other friends had called and was telling her like um, when you take communion take communion for yourself and your uh, future spouse so she was like Jessica um, it's been helping me um, it's like all these night spirits and all these attacks in my dreams they have stopped so I was like okay friend yeah 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 I am definitely like gonna give it a try, so I gave it a try, and um, as I was taking communion yesterday, um, the Lord was like, um, break, break the bread, right? I broke the bread, and then the Lord said, um, you know, that my body was broken, my bro my body was broken for transgressions, for sickness, for disease. I bore the weight, I bore the sickness, and then I said, yes, yes, Lord, I know. And then he said to me, when you break the bread, what does it remind you of? And I instantly jumped to Genesis, right? So we know that in Genesis, um, when God created Eve, she took Eve out of Adam's rib, right? <laughs> he took Eve out of Adam's rib. And then it was as if I saw the piece of bread that was broken. One piece being Adam and the other piece being Eve. So he said to me, when you partake of the communion, you are saying to your body that any sickness, um, anything that was initially on Jesus's body that he bore it no longer has place in your body and I said yeah yes Lord I get it so he says so when you taking communion you are speaking wholeness I said yes Lord wholeness wholeness full healing full everything I said I was like wholeness and he said so he said to me so if you are taking my broken body and my broken body is resulting in wholeness. So it is it is saying that you are going back 
to that part of the rib that you were taken out of. And I was like, ooh. <laughs> I was like, yes, Lord. Yes. Yes. So he was like, yeah, you see what I'm doing? I was like, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. I started praising. I started worshiping. I just said, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, that you are now putting me back into that position. That there is no brokenness. I am not separated no longer. I am joined to my rib. Because he says in his word that the two shall become one. And one is wholeness. So I said, yes, Lord, I am back with my rib. I am connected with my rib. And as I took of um, the grape juice that symbolizes his blood, he said to me, my blood is fighting off and purifying whatever generational curses, whatever that was spoken, whatever sacrifice that was made, my blood is fighting against that and my blood is changing your DNA is changing the DNA of your spouse. You guys now carry one blood and that's my blood. That's the blood of Christ. So I thank the Lord. I had a beautiful time in his presence. And I was like, okay, Lord, now I know that during this time, especially for this assignment, this is what I will do. And this is what I will say with my mouth. This is what I will decree. So today in prayer, he told me, I want you to release this word to my people. So as I was preparing my, I was just praying, you know, I wrote it down and I was like, okay, I need to release this. And then he said, get in your word. So when he told me get in the word, I kept hearing specific things. I kept hearing, um, um, take the bread and break and take the bread and break it so i was like no let me go to scripture to go see which scripture it was and i found the scripture that god was speaking about and it was first corinthians eleven twenty four, which says take eat this body which was broken for you so i was like yes wholeness i speak wholeness i speak um I speak um, the ribs coming into place from where they were initially taken from. Um, bone of their bones, flesh of their flesh. Going back to their atoms, being joined to their atoms, being connected to their atoms. I just kept speaking that. I kept decreeing that. I kept prophesying that over you guys. I kept prophesying that for everyone that's standing um, in the gap and just waiting for this blessing to come over them. I kept decreeing it. I kept declaring it. And he wanted me to read um, Luke, right? The book of Luke. As I read the book of Luke, he took me to the story. Where is it? Luke 24, where Jesus had risen and he was on he was on the road to Emmaus, right? So the road to Emmaus, Emmaus means hot springs. And it has to do with bathing yourself. And that bath that you would take would be like a healing bath, right? It would, um, it had certain things, the spring water, that it would just bring healing and restoration to your body. So um, God reminded me of the first, I think it was the first video I did today, where he was just saying that he's healing us up, that he wants us to bring those emotions to the surface so that he can bring healing to us. So he was saying, right now you are on the road to Emmaus. You are literally on that road. You are on the road to Emmaus. You are on the road that is bringing healing. You are on this journey where God is bringing healing and God is bringing restoration to you. So we know that on the road, Jesus met two gentlemen, two disciples um, of the Lord. Um, and they were talking about Jesus. They didn't know who Jesus was. And they were just telling Jesus the story of what had happened about the crucifixion, the crucifixion, and that they believed that this Jesus that died was going to be the one to save the Jews. And then they saw that it was getting late and they invited Jesus, not knowing that it was Jesus, to come and spend the night at their house. 
So they were having dinner, you know, they were having dinner and then Jesus took the bread and he shared it with them. So this is where there is another promise of God for us. So Luke, Luke 24 verse 30, it says, when he was at the table with them, he took the bread, gave thanks, broke it and gave it to them. And began to give it to them. Verse 31 says. Then their eyes were opened. And they recognized him. So when I read that. I was like. Lord you kept talking to me about communion. Breaking the bread. So I went back to go read it. So I'm going to read it again. When he was at the table with them. He took bread. Gave thanks broke it and began to give it to them then their eyes were open and they recognized him so all this time they didn't know who jesus was they didn't know that they were in the company of jesus and when he broke the bread and they partook of the bread their eyes were opened and they could see who was right in front of them so the Lord was saying to me that through communion, the eyes of many will be open. As you partake of that bread, you will be connected to your rib. You will be connected to the rib that was taken out of you. And your eyes, their eyes will be open. They will know who you are. They will know who you are. And I was just so amazed. I was like, Lord, yes, yes, yes. Like, what is happening? And um, on verse 35, it says, Then the two told what had happened on their way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. When they partook of the bread, they recognized who Jesus was. So I was like, there is another confirmation. Lord, there is another confirmation. That just confirmed everything that God was saying to me. What he was saying to me last night that when I was partaking of the bread, the bread that was broken, which represented his body being broken before the resurrection of Jesus, his body going through all of that, and how I, how we have been taken from our spouse's rib, or how the wife was taken, yes, how the wife was taken from the spouse's rib, that when we partook of this act, Jesus was bringing wholeness. It was wholeness that was being birthed. And this wholeness is you and your spouse. This wholeness is you knowing who your spouse is. It's you recognizing. The Bible said recognized. It's you recognizing who he is and he recognizing who you are. Because you are not natural. You are not um you are not um you are not physical. How do I say it? You are a Spiritual being having a natural experience. You are not ruled by the things of this world. In the spirit, God had already ordained it. God had already chosen it. And because you chose what he chose for you, you have connected with this person. And now God is saying, I'm bringing heaven down on earth. I'm bringing this manifestation. I'm making this happen. And what caught my attention is that before the Bible narrated the ascension of Jesus, just on verse 49, Jesus said, I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from the most high. So I felt the Lord say. 
during this time that I had with you today, me speaking with you today, me receiving your petitions, me downloading on you, me speaking to you about the concerns of my heart. Before I end this day, before we end this day, I am going to send to you what my father has promised. That it won't be long until you, until the viewers, until the subscribers, until the listeners received, receive what my father has promised. And I'm just going to, I'm just remembering something. Yeah, there was a time that I said to the Lord, Lord, let me understand the Trinity. And um, God said to me, I am God the Father. I give the command. Jesus is the doer. He makes it happen. And the Holy Spirit puts life into it. So as I'm reading it, it says, I will send what my Father has promised. What did the Father promise you? What did the Father promise you concerning marriage, concerning your spouse, concerning whatever? Jesus is saying, I, I, Jesus, am going to send you what the Father has promised. What the Father has said, I will make happen. I am bringing it together. I am bringing both of you guys together. I am making the scenario happen. I am in the business of doing things. I am in the business of doing things. Guys, I am so excited. So excited. And let's not leave out our homie, our best friend, the Holy Spirit. It says, stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from the Most High. The power is life. The scenario is Jesus is doing it. God the Father had said it. Now the Holy Spirit is like, watch my sprinkle. Watch me put the finishing touch. Watch my spirit confirm with your spirit what his spirit is already saying. Watch my power come at work. Watch what I am doing. And I want to I wanna end off by saying, by saying, don't take the communion. Don't do it unless you feel led by it. Don't do it because um, you heard Jessica. S Jessica saying that we should do it. No. Get the confirmation of the Holy Spirit. We need to understand that we all have a personal relationship with God. And we all speak to God and God speaks to us. So we just need to give him an ear for us to hear what he is saying. If you are feeling the conviction, the confirmation, if this word is making your baby leap, your promise leap, if this word is God saying to you, this is the step that I want you to take, then take it. I encourage you to take it. And let the Holy Spirit be at work in you. And while you're doing this, be sensitive. Be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit is showing you. Be sensitive to what the Holy Spirit has going around you. Be sensitive to it. And I just want to say, God is not a man that he shall lie. One thing that I always said when I started um, speaking out, I always said to God, God, I, if you have to make me a prophetic voice, make me a prophetic voice that speaks right out of your word. Let what I am saying have biblical reference. Because I never want to say anything that is according to me, according to my heart, according to my emotions. Let me say exactly what comes from you. And this word, this Bible, it is you. So always confirm it through this. Let actually, let this be the inspiration for everything that I say. And the Lord confirmed it to me three times. I thought I was going nuts. I thought, okay, maybe this is just something for me to do. But we know that when the Lord speaks, he confirms. And the beautiful, 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 our beautiful God confirmed three times. I am so excited. 
I am so excited. I am excited. And you know, the scripture says that Paul was saying that we shouldn't take communion in the wrong way. And um, let me try and get try and get the scripture. Um, Paul says that we shouldn't take communion in the wrong way. That when we take communion, we need to make sure that our heart is right. I will put the the Bible verse down below. So if you feel led to do this, uh, read the scripture in the Bible where, to- where Paul talks about how to partake of communion, how you need to be, and how your heart needs to be. And do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I am so excited. I am so excited. I'm really, really, really excited, guys. Really excited. So I think I need to stop speaking <laughs> because I am talking too much. Because your girl here is really excited, and our daddy will never fail us. Our daddy will never fail us. Like he said in the previous video, I have said it, and I will make it happen if I made happen the death of Jesus, which was painful to me, why will I not make this beautiful promise come to pass? He is in the business of doing things. He is in the business of surprising us. That's our God. That's our God. So I'm going to stop speaking. Guys, I love you guys. I hope that you guys had a beautiful day. Um, I think I might just have... I think I'm just going to put everything all in one in one video instead of coming on and doing like so many different videos. I'm just going to put everything all in one. I love you guys. Te amo, te amo, te amo, te amo, meus irmãos em Cristo. Que Deus abençoa. Que Deus esteja contigo nessa caminhada e que a promessa de Deus venha se cumprir na tua vida, na minha, na tua, na vida de todos aqueles que confiam nele. So, I love you guys. I had to leave a little message in Portuguese. I felt led by God. So, um beijo. Speak to you guys soon.